Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I have a tutorial on compositing in After Effects today. So here's the scenario. We have all these little cards here and they're animated in a cloner object, kind of flying towards camera. What I want to do is take these into After Effects and add 2D text so that it looks like the 2D text is stuck on each of these cards in uh, 3D space. So it sounds like it would be really easy, but the fact that we're using a cloner object on these different planes makes it a little bit tricky. So uh, if you don't know what's going on, what you might try to do is add a null object with an external compositing tag. So we'll add a null, we might even put it inside the, one of these planes, and then we'll re reset the PSR so that the uh, null object is right where one of those planes is. We'll right click and add a external compositing tag. The problem is this plane is not actually a physical object in this scene. What it is is just a reference for the cloner to use. So uh, just putting a null in that plane isn't going to do you any good. It's not going to be brought into After Effects. Another thing that you might think of is, well, since these are not physical objects yet, let's just bake this cloner down. So you would hit C on the cloner and it would turn the cloner into all its planes. The problem is the animation is stuck on the null, the main null, and it's not uh, given to all of its children. So these planes aren't actually moving. So that's not going to be helpful. All you have to do is on the actual cloner, not the contents, but the actual cloner, just right click, Cinema 4D tags, and external compositing tag. And then we'll go ahead and save that out to the AEC folder. I already saved it out. But we'll jump into After Effects and I'll show you what's going on. So we can import that file and go to that AEC file. Here it is. We'll import that and see what's going on here. So you can see that we have all of our planes and we have a bunch of nulls. So what that um, external compositing tag did is it basically looked at everything in that cloner and it gave a null to every single object, which is incredibly helpful. And that null also inherits all the position value of that object inside the cloner. So now all you have to do is add your 2D elements and reposition them to inherit the properties of that null. And then you can get an animation, something like this. So it's a really cool way if you're using cloners to be able to uh, add nulls and do some compositing in After Effects. So that's a quick tip uh, in case you're uh, slamming your head against the wall trying to figure this one out. Super simple, you just gotta know the process like everything else in cinema. So thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. I hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you guys next time. Happy New Year, everybody.